All right, folks, we got another video today. So I recently decided to go ahead and pick up a new pistol for my wife. Uh, she wanted something she can conceal, something that was effective, and something that was reliable, most of all. So uh, to me, that's Glock all the way. So I went ahead and picked her up a Glock 9mm uh, Model 43, which is a single stack 9mm. So it's slim and compact, still 9mm, two six round magazines, uh, in this video, we're going to add some Vickers tactical equipment to it. We're going to put the two round magazine extensions on both the mags that come with it. Uh, adds two rounds to the capacity, making it eight plus one in the tube. So you got nine rounds like that. And it also adds a little bit of extra extension so you can get that pinky on the gun. So manage that recoil a little bit better. So I'm adding that. I'm adding the extended slider release just so the gun uh, ergonomically functions a little bit better. For her hands primarily and i will be honest on this particular gun uh, i could barely operate the slide release it was so low profile so i would definitely recommend if nothing else spend 15 bucks to get that slide really or extended slide release and then get it installed it takes three minutes when you watch the video you'll see how easy it is so i'm also going to install the uh, vickers slide rack it's basically for somebody who doesn't have a lot of pinch power or strong hands it kind of adds a little bit of a flare on the back of the slide so when you do go to rack the gun and chamber around or clear a jam or any malfunction or anything like that, it gives you a little bit of assistance with a little bit of grip. And uh, I think it's really cool. I think uh, she'll probably use that from now on on most of her guns. So uh, really effective piece of equipment. I think it's really cool for someone that can't, you know, handle the gun very well like that. doesn't have a lot of hand strength. So anyways, uh, I'm gonna break the gun down real fast for y'all. In the video, uh, it's a little bit shaky. You can see what I'm doing, but I'm, I want to make sure you can get your gun apart, get it cleaned and back together uh, right now on the video. I'm going to go ahead and do that just uh, so it's real good and clear. Um, so hold tight. I'm just going to walk you through this, okay? So drop your magazine. Go ahead and open the gun. Lock the slide back visibly and check that there, check there's not a round in that chamber. Uh, you can never be too safe with a gun. I don't care what nobody says. People can laugh, whatever they want to do. Double, triple check these things, okay? These ain't toys, all right? Uh, visibly check it. Some people even put their finger in there and double check it, whatever. Uh, make sure it's clear. Go ahead, let's slide, send it home. Dry fire the gun. On each side of a Glock, you have these two little tabs, or little nipples, whatever you want to call them, is one on each side. What you want to do is dry fire the gun I take my uh, two fingers and I kind of wrap over the sight with my hand still behind the gun and kind of open the breech a little bit, just kind of deactivate the breech like that. Pull those two tabs down simultaneously at the same time. While you're doing that, let go and just slide the top of the gun off, okay? That's all that you do, okay? We'll set this to the side. As far as breaking it down for a real, real fast field clean or whatever, after a day of shooting, you don't want to tear it all the way down. Just give it a little cleaning right quick. The spring literally just comes right out, okay? The barrel right behind it. There's nothing to do. You can spray CLP, whatever you want to use down in there, lubricate it, clean it, wipe it down. It's a Glock, man. It ain't going to fail, so you ain't got to worry about it. Uh, as far as reassembling it, once again, just drop the barrel back in. It kind of falls where it belongs. Plastic into the front, metal into the back. Put your spring in. It's got a little retention point down here. Just push it in about an eighth of an inch. Set it back in that little groove. It's good to go. On the Glock, you have metal rails up here on the front. Back here on the back of the slide, what you want to do is just kind of start that on that slide path. Once you get it on there, just rack it one time. It's ready to go. Okay, That's it. Once again, real simple. Probably one of the easiest guns to take down. Thanks for coming and watching my video today. I really appreciate it. And uh, I'm really enjoying doing this. I got a bunch of new equipment in the last couple of weeks. And uh, the video should continually get a little bit better as far as the filming goes. The content is just, I'm just basically doing what I do all the time. So if it's not too excited, I'm exciting, I'm sorry. It's just things that I do. I'm not trying to make a whole bunch of money on here or do anything. I'm just trying to do it for my own pleasure. So uh, I'm enjoying it. Hope you all are too. Once again, thanks for joining. Thanks for joining me today. I appreciate it. Hope you all learned something with these guns. Uh, 
I look forward to doing more videos in the future and I'm enjoying it. So thanks. Appreciate it. Have a good day. All right, folks, we're going to go ahead and start out by putting in the extended slide release. Just like I said before, we're going to break the gun down uh, from the very beginning. I showed you that just a minute ago. There's the little tabs I'm telling you about. Go ahead and dry fire the gun. You're going to want to pull those two tabs down right there. Go ahead and deactivate the breech. Pull the tabs down, pull the front of the slide of the gun off. That's all there is to it, real simple. What you're going to want to do is get your Glock tool. They sell this in a kit. It comes with the front tool side. And you're going to want to push from left to right on this pin. When you're doing it, you want to kind of jingle your trigger back and forth because all this stuff goes in a line and eventually the pin will just pop right out. Okay. Slide that Glock tool underneath that metal block there and just pry up and it takes no pressure at all to pull that plug up and out like that. I'm going to show you a comparison here in a second of how much wider the new one is than the OEM stock one. It's pretty substantial, but literally all you do is just grab it, pick it up, just like I'm doing right there, pull it out. Nothing's holding it right there. It just rests inside that little cradle. So check out how much wider. It's probably at least 30, 40% wider. And it's got a little bit of a lip on the edge too. It's pretty substantial. And all it does literally just drops right back in that same little cradle and rest on the edge of the frame. So put that uh, plug back in, line it up the right way, go ahead and push it back down flush with the side of the frame. That's all there is to it, you're new. Slide release extension is ex installed. Put the pin in from the right going back to the left. It's the opposite way you took it out. You're gonna have to make sure that your trigger uh, is either moved forward or backwards to line that hole back up or the pin will not go in and it'll click it's like that right there. It'll make a little clicking sound. That's all there is to it. So now we're going to go ahead and install the uh, racker, they call it, from Victor's Tactical. Go ahead and, same thing, pull your spring out, pull your barrel out, nothing to it. I use a magnetic bowl right there. Uh, there's a little black plastic retainer inside that hole. Use your Glock tool, put it inside of there, and push that black retainer towards the front of the gun, towards the barrel, and then take your thumb and slide down on that black plate. When doing that, keep your finger over it whenever you're pulling that back plate off because there's a little spring in there. If you slide it off, that spring goes flying, you will never find it, it's a tiny little spring.
So use your Glock tool, push that round sleeve in at the same time that you are sliding this plate up. So you'll see me put it in there, use the tool, push it back in, slide it all the way up and then click in place. That's all there is to it. You got your racker on there. It's an awesome fiddle little gun. It's a very effective little piece they made right there. My wife loves it. Now we're going to go ahead and put the uh, mag extensions on. I've got a magazine tool that came with my Glock tool kit. All you do is put it in that hole and pull backwards pretty hard because they're, they're clipped in and it'll just slide right off just like that right there. Keep your thumb over the bottom of the mag well. That way your spring doesn't go flying and your little tiny clip doesn't go flying. Decompress the spring, pop the clip off. When you pull your spring out, the top follower on the feed ramp for your magazine, you will be reusing that on the new uh, Vickers spring. So go ahead and pull that out, pop that black piece off the top there. You're just gonna put it right onto your new spring. To install it on your spring, go ahead and get your little block tool out when you used previously and just turn it up vertical and just push that little spring down. There's a little clip inside that uh, top retainer. I'm gonna show you right here and just click it right into place. It'll just snap right in there, just like that right there. It just snaps right into place. That's it. Go ahead and put it in into the put it into the in the magazine, and go ahead and slide your new base plate on. That's all there is to that, man. It's this stuff is plug and play. It's very well engineered, very well machined, and it's it's easy to put on. And I have checked the capacity. It does hold eight rounds. There's not a problem at all. Go ahead and slide that on, push it all the way back, click it in place. And as you can see, adds about a three quarters of an inch extension. Perfect little setup. That's a perfect little carry gun right there for anybody who wants to conceal carry. Or something for your wife. Thanks for joining me today. I really appreciate it. Y'all like, share, and subscribe. See y'all next time. <laughs>